Okay, everybody. So, um, you know, without getting into an all-out battle over this, over this new age and Christianity thing, um, I'm going to make this really brief. Okay. Um, you know, because when you argue with the ignorant, you've already lost. So I don't plan on arguing with anyone. This is what I want to say. There is a, a stereotype of what Christians believe that uh, New Age people are. And I don't hold myself as being a New Age person. But since the Christians put Hinduism in New Age, I will, I will put myself in that category. That that's just some more ignorance. Okay. Um, I don't know what they think New Age people are doing. Because here is the absolute truth. It is pure ignorance and arrogance for someone who has never been a part of New Age to sit and think that they are an expert on what New Age is. I had been away from Christianity for seven years, eight years. I had never read the Bible before, before now. I would never be so arrogant to presume to tell any one of these pastors out here what they need to understand in the Bible. I would never be so arrogant as to do something like that. Yet, these Christians, and this is what the world can't stand about Christians, Christians are so arrogant and ignorant that they don't see themselves because they are in the sleep. This is why. This is Satan's rule. They can't see that Satan is ruling them as they want to sit and talk about how Satan is in the church. Well, that's where they're coming from is the church. And let's get a little bit deeper into this subject. Most of the people from New Age are Christians who left Christianity because of the arrogance and ignorance there. So what exactly do these people think they're comparing New Age to Christianity? Because as they want to uh, say, uh, Oprah Winfrey says she's, she's a Christian, she believes in Jesus Christ, but she's following New Age. That, that proves my point exactly. The majority of the people following New Age are Christians who left Christianity. So what do these people in their own stereotypical, arrogant, ignorant self believe that New Agers are doing? It appears that um, because the last words were that you can't mix and match New Age and Christianity. Um, once again, saying uh, under, with the understanding that I said Jesus was with me. And so it must be that either I don't I don't believe Hinduism or I don't believe Christianity. Who is anyone to be so arrogant and ignorant as to presume to understand what I believe? And what exactly my experience is? And as far as I can tell, they are putting Jesus Christ in a little box that says Jesus Christ is not capable of reaching a Hindu as well as reaching a Muslim or reaching anywhere, an atheist. Uh, they're limiting the power of Jesus Christ. This is what cracks me up more than anything else. And it's all ego to make a point. And it's very sad for me to watch this. But this is Satan at play here. This is the sleep. This is the sleep. And what he's actually doing is attacking Christians who have left Christianity. And, and, instead of trying to repair and, and, and heal and, and bring home. No, it's let's attack New Age. When, when the majority of New Age are Christians that left Christianity, wake up, people. Wake up. The pure arrogance of someone who has never practiced Hinduism or New Age to think they are an expert 
on what New Age is. Well, let me give you a little example here. I have never, ever done witchcraft. I don't know the first thing about witchcraft. I have never played with tarot cards. I have never gone to um, see a psychic. I have never gone to a psychic medium for them to speak to my dead relatives. I followed psychic mediums when I first got on the path and what they were doing was teaching me about the gifts that I had and teaching me how to meditate. But I never went to a psychic or a medium for anything. Um, I never tried to get demonic spiritual powers. It wasn't what I was about because the only thing I wanted was oneness with God. So the arrogance and ignorance is, is beyond anything. I, I'm telling you, I am just dumbfounded by all of this. This is why I will, not, I will not argue over it. And I don't think anybody out here should be arguing over anything. Because I don't believe that Jesus would approve of anything that's going on here. For one person to believe that they are an authority on New Age, when they have never even been in New Age. It is pure arrogance, and it is pure ego. And where is ego? Well, ego is found in the personhood, which consists of the psychological mind, the emotions, and the form, which is where Satan hangs out. It's the sleep. It is the sleep. Um... I'm also, like I said, I'm not an expert in the Bible. I, I'm, I'm not going to uh, battle him on uh, Bible verses. But what I did do was Google, what does the Bible say about God the Father? And no, he did not have a form. He did not have a form. According to Google, that's all I could say. According to Google... God the Father did not have a form. And um, what was said was that Jesus Christ created everything. Well, I'm very sorry. Jesus Christ was the second part of the Trinity. Jesus Christ was the Son of God. God in form but the second part of the Trinity. So, um, I, I don't know about any of this. It, it seems, uh, it seems a little off to me. That's all I can say. So no, I, I don't believe any new ager. Um, I don't believe any new ager deserves what's being thrown at them. Number one, every human being deserves respect and dignity. The purpose of anybody being out here is to educate people on what they don't understand, which is about the demons and how they attack people by, by the, the mystical practices that they're doing and the occult practices. The purpose for any of us is to educate people, not attack people and not belittle people. And it's pretty sad what I'm seeing out here. But this is pure ego, just like I said. It is pure ego. It's sad to see. It really is sad to see. A little repentance might be in order, I think. And maybe an apology to the way New Age is being bashed right now. You see? People in ignorance don't deserve to be crucified. They deserve to be loved and educated. That is the way of Jesus Christ, okay? And then when they come to you with their demons, then you can cast out their demons. That was the way of Jesus Christ. I don't understand it. Uh, I, I don't want to understand it. You see, I, I'm not into all this hatred. I'm not into all this anger. Uh, I don't want any part of it. And I'm not going to debate it because I don't care about it. 
There are too many people suffering out here that one person feels that they have to make a point that they're arrogant and they're ignorant. That they feel that they know that they're an expert on, on practices that they've never done, that they've never studied. I'm, I'm beside myself. People need education, not bashing over the head. That's really where I'll leave this. You guys have a blessed night.